What is up, YouTube? What is up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Uh, I'm your host, SGD Payne. And uh, for those who haven't noticed, I had to factory set my headset once again for like the fifth time because I still never got a response from MetaQuest. So I want to record some videos. So I factory set my headset again. And here we are. I want to create some videos for you guys. Because I, I don't know, this meta quest kind of annoyed me right now. But without further ado, if you all like the video, hit the like button, sh hit subscribe, share the video around, and let's get into this. What's this? I know okay. Omri is dead, and I know that for the time being, you've stepped into his shoes, whoever you are. I am not in the habit of trusting people these days. Trust gets you dead when it's given to the wrong person, and there is a lot of wrong out there. But I am willing to set prejudice aside for a few moments so we can have a little chat, see if we can work together. I'm assuming you scored a few useful things out of that last tower cache. Well, there's more where that came from, as long as nothing happens to me. Understood? Get yourself to the churchyard. I will unlock the gate so you can reach the area. Stay out in the open. If I am satisfied you are alone, you will see me. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. I've included my audio too, so they can hear me what I'm doing. I think. Alright. Alright, we just gotta go ahead a little bit. There she is. Don't get used to meeting like this. It's a rarity. I understand. It's almost impossible to know who to trust. All right, then we're on the same page. I'll get to the point. <clears throat> Why are you helping me? Henri trusted you, so that's good enough for me. Were you two friends? I wouldn't say we were friends. I liked the guy. He presented a genuine opportunity. So I went for it. Omri definitely had an eye for opportunity. Well, may he rest <clears throat> in peace. You got some curmudgeonly shoes to fill. I'll point you to tower caches with useful supplies, and you get me the intel they contain. Sound like a deal? You've got yourself a deal. Take this drawing. There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Okay. Sounds good. Consider it done. Well, I'm gonna take that with me. Hey, you there? Hello? It's Casey. If you're there, please answer. I've got a situation. Please. I can hear you. What is it? Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but I'm getting desperate, so um, I I need to take a chance uh, on you. W what do you think? Can uh, can you help me out, please? You've got my attention. I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. They found something, and I need it bad. The problem is, I have no way to get my hands on it without help, w without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve, in exchange. Does that sound fair? What do you need? A pump flow regulator. A tower patrol founded by a memorial lane in the Garden District. Well, it's just another useless piece of junk to them. The problem is, there's a potential showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody, <clears throat> quickly. <clears throat> what else? I like to be fully informed before putting my ass on the line. Fair enough. What do you want to know? Why are they fighting? Uh, you know, resources, territory, two opposed ways of thinking, butting heads. I mean, from everything I've been hearing on the radio the last couple of months, bad blood just keeps getting worse. Look, I'm staying out of it, but I, I can feed you more details if you want. Hmm, alright. <clears throat> 
Who's running a show for each faction? Mama leads the tower. She founded the community. I don't know much else about her. She stays out of sight. Her right hand, her enforcer, is Georgia. Now she's out there on the front lines daily. And from what I hear, she's a hard ass. Not afraid to mix it up. Get her hands dirty, you know? The reclaimed rally around this guy named JB. And no clue what it stands for. He's always proselytizing over the airwaves. Uh, frequency 54. Denouncing the tower. Saying they're already dead. And he freaks me out a bit, but there's no denying he has charisma. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your take on all this? If the fighting keeps up, this city's gonna explode into an all-out war. The tower maintains some sort of order, right? I mean, they, they offer some sort of semblance of safety, sure, but they don't hesitate to toss people out if they question authority. Once the tower kicks your ass out, there's no return. It seems cruel, but I don't know. Maybe that's the way it has to be. The reclaimed are eccentric. Well, let's put it that way. But JB really knows how to motivate, uh, get, get people to buy into his vision. Maybe they're crazy, maybe they're onto something, I, I don't know, who knows. They are inspired, though, always going on about the liberation to live, not just blindly following orders to barely survive. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they're both a bit fucked in the head. I've heard enough info on the conflict. Okay, uh, sorry, I, I know yeah, I can man. ramble sometimes. I'm ready to do this. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes, switches, knobs, you'll know it when you see it. Now, the tower patrol has it at their camp, Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, reclaimed are nearby, so you might get caught in the middle of a scrap between them. Now, once you have it in hand, hustle back to the radio and contact me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word. Kindness is true. Yeah, it's rock and roll. More than it is. Let's see where we're at. What's up, buddy? Anthony. You got nerve you rolling nerve. in here uninvited. Up, you all that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't me. Watch it! You got nerve Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. I prefer to think of myself as a free agent. Open to all opportunities. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim, but he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks oh, have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. i like to know what I'm up against ahead of time. What are their numbers exactly? We've seen as many oh, as four me. on the second floor. But you never know. They multiply like rats. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then! Knowing how those I savages care, up. I got it. You 
can whine all day and all night. It ain't gonna change a goddamn thing. So they know who's boss. Slam the door to come in. That's fucking creepy. Supper. I want okay. to Okay. Okay. Chill the there, buddy boy. Chill. Who the hell are you? The negotiator? A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life? Not sure I really see the point. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke. That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt, where maggots belong. What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful. Because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being. But this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out, left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then... We can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift. What I'm hearing the is the guy was following orders. He doesn't have to die. You can be merciful. Where was the mercy for Violet? Huh? You're fucked in the head, just like the rest of them. Get out of my face before I tear yours off. Fair point. You got a death wish. Lose. Uh. 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 Sorry, bud. I got my own shit I gotta worry about. I was skeptical, but you pulled it off. I didn't think I was ever gonna see my little bro again. You have my thanks. Anything you can screw- Fuck you, corpse! Save oh, this this time. You're welcome, bud. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna pause real quick. You've given me a second chance. Thank you, I promise to make- Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, the person you're here in the background is fluffy. Heard something. Why are you gonna hobble around me? Of course you saw me just walk in. He's giving me a away. second chance. Fucking weirdos. It's me, you fucking idiot! I'm walking up the damn stairs, you're looking right at me! Oh, I heard something. No shit! Scan of the area. I should fucking annoy this fuck. Yes. Heard something. Yeah, nice. Someone's close. What the fuck? The fuck just happened to that guy? What's up? Shit. Something's close. The dude just had a stroke. Uh, your buddy's just. Okay. Don't know how we're gonna. Okay. He just, just died.
Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck. Jeff, I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people. Now, I know this might put you in a tough spot. Please forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Your little bro, Anthony. And now you see why I did not decide to kill the guy. He was only doing it to follow orders. Shit. That's why. Scan in the area. And plus, help me get in here quicker. Aha! Let's try to figure out where the other one went to. I just... I was about to say, I hope I didn't knock someone out when I threw it behind me. Ah, uh, I got more ammo. What is this? Okay. What are you doing in the floor? It's me! Why are you all getting your panties in a bunch? Damn, they're all freaking out and shit. It's weird. Like, y'all saw me walk right on in. Gotcha. It's me! I swear you heard me this whole time. You had a bone? Did you keep fucking following me around like a damn dog? Yeah, I'm out. You guys are dicks. You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. Not doing anything until you hold up your end. 
We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay. The reserve is real. But you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here, soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military-grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. If the bunker was safe, why did they leave? Like I said, they left. They had to take care of something, okay? Nothing else to say about it. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? If you get crushed, at least it would be quick, right? Yeah, well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, uh, uh, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. And not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me, a fresh start. Some fresh fucking air. Why do you need me to get you out? Plenty of people are looking for the reserve. Why not get one of these groups to help you? Well, my gut tells me that you're my best bet. The Tower and the Reclaimed are both after the reserve, sure. Obsessed with it, you might say. They believe it will shift all the power in Nola. But I don't trust them. They're too absorbed by their agendas. You're unaligned. On your own. Like me. But hey, we may as well help each other. Right? I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist. Ah. Hello? It's Casey. Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements. And that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. We should be able to figure this out. I like that attitude. Okay, 
On the device, you should see a serial number. Read it to me. 473-0589-01. Okay, uh, now turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, uh, then tell me the number you see. Feedback triggered on 55. The numbers turn green. Okay, good. 55. Uh, according to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. No, they won't do that. Valve B to 28. Got it. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. All right. Big round button pressed. Yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. Beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier, scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now, <laughs> right? The tower has a radio station, number 47, that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck, and thanks. Food cash spotted. Buy water. Medicine, ca medicine cash found. Via Corolla. Herd will not be stirred by water. Oh man, I should have put that shit away. Ugh. 
I was surprised why I didn't stand through. Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah. Always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. It's impossible to shut it down. Oh, poor Casey. Doesn't make sense to get all worked up. If you want to survive, you need to focus. Steady your mind. Yeah, well, I guess. But, you know, hey, this morning I realized something. I can't even remember the last time I saw the sky. It's been a while, at least that much I know. Months. Wish I would have paid more attention. You ever been to the Badlands up in South Dakota? Never been. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Like another planet. My mom used to drive me through there every summer on the way to see my uncle. The night sky was so bright. So many stars, like a dome overhead. Crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me back when I really needed it. How insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. How my troubles, no matter how big they may seem, really don't mean squat. I mean, well, what are troubles anyway, huh? The universe doesn't know the meaning of the word. <sighs> I wish I had that Badland sky overhead right about now. You know, the first thing I'm going to do when free is head back north. I think I've had enough of swamp life. One thing the universe knows is infinite chaos. What it's always been best at. The dead walking is all the proof you need. Yeah. I suppose you're right. You sound like my uncle. Sounding like your uncle a good thing? Yeah, it is. I miss the guy. I still carry the note he wrote me when I finally graduated high school. In my pocket. Three short sentences on a folded up index card. If I make it out of here, maybe I'll show it to you. It's kind of prophetic. Ah, well. Anyways, thanks for listening, tourist. I feel better. I think I'm gonna lie down. See if I can picture that badland sky up in this rusty, dripping ceiling. Steady the mind, as you say. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Casey, don't make me feel sad, man. Oh, man. Alright, nowhere to go now. Uh... So this is pretty much as far as I went to. <laughs> Our battles with the dead in those early days were vicious and exhausting. We had zero control. And the fiends were everywhere. If our community was going to survive and grow, we had to radically rethink our approach. Our home and the area immediately around it needed to be entirely within our control. With that in mind, and while I stood atop one of our rickety barricades, I looked to the skyline and saw the promised land. A silhouette against the purple and orange of God's dazzling canvas. Forty-five stories tall, calling to me. There is our new home, I thought. A place where we can flourish on our own terms. In two days, I had hey our there, entire community organized and ready to... <laughs> Forty-eight desperate but motivated souls prepared to abandon what we had worked so hard to secure for the hope of a brighter future. The journey was through hell itself. So thick with the dead, it took us three sleepless days and nights to travel just a single mile 
to the tower gates. But by God, we made it. Not one life lost. We did it as one determined heart. One determined soul. Think it's wise to be wandering around? But as we stood there, gazing up at our future, filled with the hope of what it could become, we knew that the work was far from over. The tower was a tomb. Each floor of the 45 in... I thought I turned it off. Invested with the dead. One final challenge that we, the founders of our glorious combat, were resolved to overcome by any means necessary. Come on. Nice. Hold on to you. A Twinkie! I found a Twinkie! Now, that's gonna come in handy if I meet a angry Texas guy. Looking for a Twinkie. Driving a yellow Hummer. yourself. Georgia calls the shots now. Scanning the area. Out for a stroll. Side has a fucking hole in it. Advantage is ours. You're gonna I show your face. <laughs> you guys suck when I'm like point blank range from you. You guys didn't hear the gunfire? What the fuck? You guys suck ass.
trying to come closer. Draw my arm. Oops, sorry. You're dead already. The traitor bitch has been exploiting tower safe routes, so we are switching things up. Keep her on her toes. Maybe even rid the outskirts of some exiles while we're at it. New stirring schedule below. Georgia. Fucking Shiok is eat that fucking uh thing out of here. Alright, I'll see y'all beautiful SBs back at the hangout. Alright, we're back. Nothing else happened, just this. Shut it out some stuff. Let's grab some of this shit, shall we? The traitor bitch has been exploiting tower safe routes, so we are switching things up. Keep her on her toes. Maybe even rid the outskirts of some exiles while we're at it. New stirring schedule below. Georgia. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, share the video around, turn on notifications so you stay up to date, and my girlfriend won't beat me up. She's not even paying attention. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, she won't, guys. I'll just fuck with you. But, uh, I'm still trying to figure out a lot of sh stuff with this stupid meta quest. Trying to figure out why the fuck it's not recording half the time. But, without further ado, I'll see you at Bufus of Bees next time.